Hey guys, this is Madison. Welcome to another dorm room review video. Uh, and this dorm room review I'd like to talk about Isabella Star 3 by Peter Turner. If you're not familiar with Isabella Star, it's essentially a system that Peter Turner came up with, I think, seven years ago that um, allows you to know someone's birthday. So a complete stranger you've never met before, they never write anything down, they don't put it in a phone, nothing like that. You just immediately start telling them facts and end up with knowing their star sign and their birthday. Isabella Star 3 is an amped up version of this, and in my opinion, it's by, it far surpasses Isabella Star 1 and 2. So um, the biggest difference is Isabella Star 1 and 2 involve the person doing some math, some simple math, but doing some math to come up with their um, numerology, uh, a, a num their number, like their life number. I can't remember the exact phrase Peter uses, but basically they come up with a number, and then you're able to, they, they pick out like a couple of cards from a deck of cards that equal that number, and then you go into this process and you're able to tell them. It was a lot of work. I'm going to be honest, uh, I had Isabella Star 1 and 2, and I never learned it. It was so much memory work, and it was just a little bit daunting to me. It was a lot to have to think of in the moment. With Isabella Star 3, Peter has gotten rid of a lot of that. He's streamlined it, and it's now, I mean, literally he does it in less than 90 seconds. In less than 90 seconds, he starts rattling off information. So what does the performance look like? Um, essentially, they think of their birthday or they think of a random date. I, how I've been performing it is I come up to someone, and I tell them we're going to create an imaginary person. And in order to create an imaginary person, we first have to have an imaginary birthday. Because the only thing an imaginary person needs is an imaginary birthday. After all, a birthday is the only thing that makes someone into a person, right? That, that's all there is, is the birthday. So we come up, they come up with a, any birthday they want, and then they come up with a name to assign with this birthday so that they end up with basically an imaginary person with a, with a name and a birthday. And then I just flat out tell them the name and birthday that they're thinking of. It's really that clean. Um, there's some memory work involved, but it's it's not too bad. It's definitely not as bad as Isabella Star 1 and 2. Um, I mean, I memorized it the same day that I read the book. Um, so the way Pete does it is Pete performs it uh, where he gets the star sign of the person and then gets the name that they're thinking of, the random name, and then is able to tell them their exact birthday. I don't do a lot of star sign work. I don't do any star sign work. I, it's just a personal thing. I just it doesn't fit my character, it doesn't fit my style, so I don't do star sign work. Um, so because of that, um, I use an alternate which is taught in the PDF or the book. Actually, it's a physical book. It Peter goes over a way to do this without star signs, and then with a little bit of variation that I've come up with, I now no longer mention star signs in any way, shape, or form. Um, essentially, they think of a month. Um, they think of a date, they think of a name, and I just name all three pieces of, pieces of information. And it really is as clean as it sounds. Every time Peter has performed this on me, which he's probably performed it, oh gosh, probably ten times on me now, he's always nailed it. Um, I've performed it myself now, I'd say five or six times, and I've always nailed it. Um, it, it really is incredible. I can't recommend it enough. Isabella Star 3, it's not too much memory work. It's not too much to keep in your head. It, it may read as a lot because there's so many fine details and intricate points all coming together to form this routine. So it may read as a lot, but once you read it and understand it, it's really not a lot. And it happens in 90 seconds or less. Um, I can't say a good, enough good things about this. It's Peter Turner. If it's Peter Turner, you need to get it. That's basically my rule in life is that if it's Peter Turner, you need to get it. Um, so it's about Star 3 is no different. You need to have it. It's a brilliant propless effect. It uses no props, and you're able to tell someone the exact birthday they're thinking of and a name, a random name they're thinking of. It really is incredible. I highly, highly recommend it. What can I say? I can't say enough good things about it. You you get so much out of so little. Um, Pete really has squeezed as much out of this as he can. I highly, highly recommend you pick up Isabella Star 3 by Peter Turner.